All right, man, let's do a Schoolboy Q tier list. Uh, I waited for the new album to drop because I wanted to talk about it. In all honesty, the new album kind of pushed me to listen to him because I he'd kind of been on my radar before. I was kind of like, oh, yeah, Schoolboy Q, he's cool. He has good features. But I feel like that new album, oh, I was like, oh, I could do a video on him. And it kind of made me want to dive into his catalog. And I came out really enjoying it. So let's just get into it, man. I didn't include his mixtapes because I didn't really care to listen to them. But I included all his albums. And let's just get into it, man. Let's start off in C tier with a pretty underrated listen, to be honest with you. It's Crash Talk. I see a lot of people slandering this album, saying it is absolute garbage. I, I don't see it. I, I think it's a good album. It does admittedly have some weak moments with some low energy or just some awful hooks. <coughs> <coughs> Chopsticks, well, what? Overall, though, I'd say it's still a good album. It definitely picks up at the end with some pretty great tracks, and it starts good, too. This album, at its worst, is just kind of boring, but at its best is actually good, you know? It just kind of feels like Q is going in a more trap direction, and I don't really see the problem with that. It's, it's a good album. It's a light seven for me. It's definitely underrated, but I, I wouldn't say this is like a really good Schoolboy Q album, you know? Then we got B tier, Setbacks. Um, this has that old TDE sound. It kind of reminds me of like Kendrick's Overly Dedicated or Section 80. It, it's pretty consistent, but I think that it definitely could have been cut down a little. The sound isn't that unique. It's just a pretty consistent collection of some great Schoolboy Q songs and really nothing special. I feel like before Oxymoron, Q didn't have like a very defined sound and that definitely shows on here. Setbacks is still a great album. I just feel like it doesn't touch what he's gone on to do, you know? It's like a light to decent eight for me. It's a pretty good album, but as I said, not on par with everything else. Above setbacks though is Habits and Contradictions. As I said with setbacks, Q didn't really carve out his sound that well before Oxymoron. And this is just proof of that. Um, it's still a pretty great album. I will say though, some of the beats on here get a little repetitive. Some of the features aren't my favorite. Um, it, it's still a pretty great album though for Q. Um, it basically just has the same problems that setbacks has is all. It's a great album though. It's like a decent strong eight. Then at the bottom of A tier, we have Q's newest record, Blue Lips. I love the production and how introspective Q sounds on here. The beats are really just like clean, but I love how you'll just have like these really nice jazzy songs and then all of a sudden beat switches and then you're in like this trap song. It's really weird, but I really enjoy it, you know? It's kind of all over the place. It's a little messy, but I still appreciate it for that. Love the features on here. You got Rico Nasty, Freddie Gibbs. What more do you want? He kind of came back and started, you know, going in a new sound, and I really appreciate it for that. Uh, it's a very good album, man, and it's probably the best rap album of the year so far. It's a light nine for me. I like this album a lot. Above that, though, we have Oxymoron. This album has so many classic Q songs. You, of course, have Collard Greens. You have Studio, which when I heard, I was like, oh, it's that song. That brought a smile to my face. You got Man of the Year. You have so many fire songs on here. It's just an insane compilation of banger on banger on banger. You got so much amazing production on here. You got that one song with J-Rock that's produced by Pharrell. That song is great, man. It's just super consistent with the rapping, the production, the features. It's just really tight, really great album, man. It's like a light to decent nine for me. Uh, this album's really freaking good. Then we got Blank Face. This is my favorite. It's going in S tier. Uh, this album is amazing, dude. I love the production. Love the vibes. The features are so good. There's so many amazing features on this record, dude. The vibe of this one is just insanely like, it's super smooth. Kind of like I'm just like riding around in a car. It's super smooth, super vibey. It's really, really nice. And I think it's really cool how this album is literally over 70 minutes, but it does not overstay its welcome at all. Uh, this album is just an insane compilation of fire from Q and I like it a lot. Uh, this album is like a decent, strong nine. It's fire, man. Super great album. And there's my schoolboy Q tier list, man. Uh, share your rankings in the comments, as always. And like, what do you think about Blue Lips? How are you feeling on that one? Because I really like it, but I see some people that are saying, oh, it's just fine, you know? Some people are saying it's a little messy. I don't know, man. I really, I really enjoyed it. And like, what are your thoughts on Crash Talk? I see people saying, oh, it's a bad album. I haven't seen a lot of people praise it. Where are the Crash Talk enjoyers, you know? And yeah, I'm glad you made this far in the video, man. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.